Hello, this is Dr. Rugenstein, and today we're going to be looking at Burial Hill, a uh, historical, historic Burial Hill in Plymouth, Massachusetts. My wife was, and I were there in August of 2021, and uh, I thought I'd share uh, our walk around and, and show you what was there. Now, Burial Hill is a historic cemetery in Plymouth, Mass., second oldest cemetery in, 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 in Plymouth, and established around 1679. Prior to it becoming a cemetery, it was originally known as Fort Hill uh, because it was the uh, place of Plymouth County's uh, original fort, built in 1621, and also served as the meeting house until 1677. The first fort was uh, wooden platforms with cannons on top, and the second fort, built, fort was built in 1622 near the southwest corner of the cemetery, much larger and included a stockade around it. The fort consisted of, uh, excuse me, the fort consisted of a large square house with a flat roof, six cannons on the roof. The ground level was used as a church. The fort was enlarged again in 1630 and 35 and again in 1642. 1643, a brick watch house was built inside the stockade. So it progressed quite a while. Now, decades later, February 1676, we uh, have King Philip's War going on in the area. And it was rebuilt at that time into a wooden two-story, 100-square-foot fort. Uh, built on the hill again. When it ended in late 1676, the fort was abandoned. 1679, the fort was awarded to Samuel Jenny. He dismantled it, uh, took it apart, obviously, and uh, used it to build a, a house down in town, which you can still see. It's the old fort house, Harlow Old Fort House in, in uh, Plymouth on Sandwich Street. Now, after the fort was abandoned, the colonists began to use the hill as a cemetery. 1681 is the oldest headstone was placed... Uh, when Edward Gray died, I believe there are older graves in the cemetery, but they were marked by wooden, gray, uh, wooden markers, and so they've, they, they've deteriorated. They don't know where they are. Majority of the headstones are from before 1850. About 1,400 headstones uh, are, are made of slate, sandstone, or schist, uh, primary materials of the headstone prior to 1820. Uh, about 750 are marble or granite. And the earliest headstones are about two feet tall, made of purple or gray schist. So that's a little history about the uh, burial, burial hill. And uh, we'll be walking around. And so with that, let's take a look at what's going on. We are on Burial Hill in Plymouth, Massachusetts. That's the skyline over there that you can see. Pilgrim Church there that you see in, in front of me. And this is some of the oldest graves. Some of the older ones here. And there's this one here. This monument marks the spot where the watch house was erected in 1843. Very interesting. It wasn't always a burial ground. No. It was not. Churchill. And here we see the site of the first fort here in Plymouth. Lower part was used for the church, also the site of the fort, built in 1675. Certainly was a commanding position.
No, there's supposed to be cannons here. But I see none. Ruling elder for his church in Plymouth. Probably uh, Presbyterian or Reformed. Well, they were Puritans. In Holland? Some were, yeah. They went to Holland first after they left to Britain. So this gives you some of the flavor of Burial Hill in Plymouth. Again, this must have been where the fort was. And they said the lower part of the fort was a church. And here's another marker. A monument marker. Site of the fort built in 1681. 21. 21.
I think that's it for today. At least for now.